Welcome to my channel Tech Tips. In today's video, I'll showcase you how to prioritize the voice and video traffic on the IAP. Okay. So there are multiple configuration to be done on the IAP to prioritize voice and video. So these are the some of the configuration which you can see it on the dashboard. These are the recommended values. I showcase you how to do it on the IAP dashboard. Okay. Log into the IAP. So while creating a new SSID, you, you will see three options. Okay, one is employee voice and guest. Aruba, rec Aruba recommends only these three kind of a role. Okay, you can dedicately create a SSID by the name voice, or you can select any of the SSID employee voice or guest, and you go to the show advanced option. Let me show you test employee go to the advanced option here you can do the configuration for the voice video which means on the same employee SSID you can also prioritize voice and video traffic or if you want to keep a voice and video traffic in a separate SSID you can do that part okay so now I will, I will showcase you a separate SSID as a voice and video so I will click on the voice SSID which is uh, which I already has configured click on the edit you can see here go to the advanced option okay here the major configuration for the voice video is a transmission power of the EAP okay for this SSID so you can based on your requirement you can keep the minimum transmission power and maximum transmission power on the 2.4 gig okay so 2.4 gig will always give a higher coverage also in the same way you can have it make a transmission power changes on the 5 gig also okay this is the one major changes then you want to prioritize the com as a traffic for the entire SSID so which means whoever connects to the SSID voice he will get a throughput of a 5 Mbps or 5 Kbps see if it's a 50,000 means 5 Mbps for the downstream and 4,000 or 4 Mbps from the upstream okay this is the entire bandwidth the person who connects to the voice SSID. It can be a single person or it can be a 10 person divided by this bandwidth. Or if you want to assign this as a bandwidth for a per person. Now if you click on the per person then 5 MB per person will get it on this SSID. Then below you can see the option as a WMM wireless multimedia configurations. Okay, Here background WMM this is mainly for the video or a printer kind of application. You can give the percentage how much percentage you want or best effort WMM video a WMM voice WMM and the DSCP mapping value varies from 0 to 7 okay you can see here the values 1 or 2 for background scanning 0 and 3 for best effort 4 and 5 for video application 6 and 7 for voice applications okay in the same way you can traffic speculation this is for voice and video kind of application and spectralink wise for spectralink's headset kind of an enable so these are the configuration to be done on the iap to enable voice and video traffic okay so then click as usual in the next and save the configurations Okay. while config before configuring so these are the recommendations okay to prioritize voice and video so i'll keep this slide as as it is so you can just refer this and based on this recommendation you can configure thanks for watching my video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and if you have any queries comment on this video